In time immemorial, goblins have been cannon fodder for new adventurers. A level one monster barely able to hold its own to the greenest of greenhorns. Sure, with help of a strong hob, they might be able to overtake a party, or heck, their best tool, the element of surprise allowing even these feeble beasts to take down a lofty mark. It is sad to say that very few have ever risen over the level of a quarter CR. But today, day is different. This is no ordinary crap guide to something. This is a crap review of a not-so-crap goblin. Here we have the stereotypical Joe Cat Goblin Punch, made of fine soft materials and inlaid with a need to be loved. But do not fret, young Gabo, for here today we have our favorite helper, Drac, who will assist us and show the folks at home how amazing of a little green meanie you are. We will be placing this little guy through a few rigorous tests to deduce the true quality of this goblinoid. First, we will begin with a radiation test. This will consist of a run in the microwave to see how it holds up under extreme Ah oh, yes, good job, Drac. That's how you set it. Now, forget it. That's a good lad. Oh, it looks like the subject is finished. Cool. My god, man. What is it with the smoke? The gravel sun, it could be quite hot. My goodness. It seems as though the goblin has been dehydrated to its basic form. A D&D &D miniature. going to do, Drac? Huh. Seems like you have a plan, chum. Well, let's see what you have up your sleeve. Interesting. You think a reverse in temperature will return the creature to its original form. Well then, do it up, my boy. Placing it into the freezer, now that's some big brain thinking. I guess now we just have to wait. Seems like a good time as any. Oh no. Well, this was unforeseen. It seems as though when you put a creature in the freezer, it froze. We can't have that. How should we fix it? You have an idea, lad. Well, show us what you've got. Hmm. Blunt force trauma. An interesting take, but I'm not one to overlook any possibility. Okay, here we go! My stars and garters, Drac. It looks as though your concussive force of the hit has rendered the gobble back to its base state of being. Bully on you, sir. Well now, what's next, sir? Yes, that is a fine-looking goblin you have there. Ooh, the collision test by tossing it as far as you can. Interesting. Well, take it away, son. Of course, of course, countdown, yes, yes, let's see, one, two, three! Look at that gobble fly! Well, look at here, even with the critical failure in its form, the gobble returns to its original state right before your eyes! I was very excited about this one, the solvency test is truly one of my favorite scientific experiments. Nice Vanna Whiting, son. You have a future in moving pictures. That's right. Add just enough, but be careful. That's caustic stuff. Now, slowly dip the subject into the mixture. It should have some very interesting effects. My goodness, son. That was wild. What do you think... Like the little guy wasn't solved at all. Huh, who could have guessed? Well, what are we going to do now with the rest of the experiments? Ah, there you are, always with some plan to make things right. That's why I keep you around, kid. You're as sharp as a tack. Mm -hmm. What's that book you have there? Nick. Necro.
have Bunsen burners in the back, one or two at least. But the candles aren't very effective. That, that knife isn't very steady issue either. I don't know what you think you're doing with it, but uh, I won't be a part of this devil-worshipping, blood-sacrificing mumbo-jumbo. It's not even Saturday yet. My god, man, that's a deep cut. Are you okay? Nope, no, nope, no, nope. I'm, I'm out. This is too much for your humble narrator. I don't get paid enough for this crap stuff.